We're approaching Christmas, and so I thought I would suggest a few ideas for books that would make really good presents at this time of year. I've chosen them in pairs for absolutely no good reason at all. Why not give a pair of books at Christmas? For people who like polar books, I've got Mawson's Will. It's a little bit um, less famous than some polar books, but it's an extraordinary table, tale of um, ingenuity, perseverance, pain, practicality. It's fantastic. Um, South is a poetry book. It's quite quirky. Um, the story of Captain Scott's ill-fated final expedition. A couple of adventure books, travel books that both happen to be about paddling rivers, uh, Voyager and Running the Amazon. Both of them are beautifully written. Both of them have wacky, exciting, interesting characters. Both are really, really good stories. A um, couple of climbing stories. Um, no Picnic on Mount Kenya, Prisoners of War in the uh, Second World War, break out of a pit prison camp, they have the map of a mountain that's painted on the side of an oxo tin, a food tin, to guide them. They go climb the mountain and break back in once they've ascended, break back into the prison camp. Brilliant story, not amazingly well written, but brilliant story. M very, very well written, Feeding the Rat, which looks at the motivation, why people challenge themselves, push themselves, and are drawn time and again to the mountains. Um, a couple of books about the environment, nature, wildness. Uh, they are very opposing books. Feral, George Monbiot, and The Shepherd's Life, someone has stolen it, you know who you are, give it back, The Shepherd's Life and Feral. Very, very good books, very opposing opinions. So it'd be really good to give both these books together. What should we be doing to make the best use and best care of our wild places? Um, for people who like sport, the Boys in the Boat, one of the best books I've read this year. Uh, the story of Hitler's 1936 Olympics and a crew trying to take gold there. It manages to make rowing exciting. That takes some doing. Very good. The Rider is the best book I've read about what it feels like to be in a cycle race. Really good for cycling roadie fans out there, for the mammals who've got enough expensive lycra, buy them a book. Um, slightly changing tack. If you're, uh, for someone who's either starting a small business, looking to change direction in their life, working out how to tell stories on the internet. These are both very good books. This book is the one, Jab, 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 Right Hook, is the one I recommend to everyone who's trying to learn how to use Facebook and Twitter. And Derek Sivers uh, is a fantastic alternative look at a business book. It's, uh, it's a good way to live your life. I really, really like this book. It's called Anything You Want, 40 Lessons for a New Kind of Entrepreneur. Um, really back to the adventure world now. Um, two hefty, hearty magazines, Sidetracked is beautiful stories and beautiful photography for the adventure person in your life. Ride is all about cycling, but all the very many different ways that people like cycling. Um, good stories and illustrated with really lovely art as well. Really nice. And Ride Journal is now closed down, so you have to get these while they're still going. Limited edition. Um, Alan Partridge has entered the world of adventure. If you like Alan Partridge and you like adventure, you will like this. This really is a bit close to the bone for some people uh, in the adventure world. He sets off to walk in the footsteps of his father to Dungeness Nuclear Power Station. If you like Alan Partridge, you will like this. If you don't like Alan Partridge, you won't like this. I hope those books have given you some ideas. Please allow me a very quick plug for my new book out this year. It's its first ever Christmas. Give it a good home this Christmas, please. And for children, and Christmas is mostly about ch children, the boy who bite the world, uh, young children under the age of 11, the story of cycling around the world. Happy Christmas, I hope that helps, thank you. All of these are on my website. Also on my website are the list of books I put together for my Christmas suggestions for last year. Go online, search for Christmas gift ideas on my website, you will find them. Have a lovely Christmas. Toodaloo!